And today we're talking about your sleep schedule as things get busier. In a new segment, Eight Questions, local doctor Prashant James is giving us the scoop on healthy sleep habits. <sighs> this is my favorite way to do an interview, reclining. I'm telling you, on this shift, we need a sleep doctor. So I want to get to know you and I want to get some good information about how we can be more rested. Silk sheets or cotton? When I was a bachelor, I thought silk sheets were cool. <laughs> but then I realized they don't breathe as well as cotton. They tend to get hot, so I like cotton myself. Firm mattress or soft? I like firm mattress. I'm a big fan of memory foam. Because if you move in the middle of the night, you don't want to feel your partner moving, it could wake you up. So if you're a light sleeper, you can try a memory foam mattress so you don't wake up when someone else moves. What book is on your nightstand? The Journal of Sleep Medicine. What? <laughs> I have to stay up to date, but it does help me fall asleep when I read it. Strangest place you've ever fallen asleep? It's a little embarrassing, but the New York City subway is not the cleanest place. <laughs> Most popular sleep position? Sleep on my side. Sometimes if you sleep on your side, it does help snoring. What's your go-to when you can't sleep? My go-to is I steal one of my wife's herbal teas. Those tend to help. And one thing to keep in mind is if you can't fall asleep, make sure you get out of bed. Oh, so don't just lay there. Don't just lay in there, 20, 30 minutes max. You don't want to associate the bed with being something that's not sleep. Um, what's worse for sleep? Alcohol, caffeine, or your phone? All of the above, but I'm gonna say alcohol probably. It does help you go to sleep, but studies have shown that it decreases your dream sleep and your deep sleep. So what's a surprising fact about sleep that most people don't know? And people think that everything is shut down and our brains are off, but we're consolidating memories, where our metabolism is working, so it's a very active process while we sleep. Dr. James, thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. I think I'm done. Mm. Boy, it worked. If only Whatever he said. every interview could end like that. It wasn't like he was boring or anything. No, right. That's not what put me to sleep. I was just tired. I'm hoping that segment didn't have that same effect on our viewers. You know, are they, are they all doing this now? <laughs> I Thank wish you, I was napping. Just when you want to go to sleep and you can't, that mm -hmm. can be the most frustrating thing. And I never heard that advice before where if you can't fall asleep, get out of the bed. He yeah, said if, you, if don't spend more than 20 or 30 minutes lying there. If it's taking that long, get out and So the four, the four hours I did that last night didn't uh, not Oh my gosh. Not, not working. Good. Sometimes you said <sighs> melatonin works for you. Yeah, my wife, uh, Grayson started giving me that if I was giving. if I was if I was tossing and turning then she was force feeding me this little pillow. Is she wrap it in a little piece of ham or stick it in <laughs> peanut butter? What does she do to get it down your throat? Wrong? What's wrong with a pillow and peanut butter? Good run. Oh, please.